Good afternoon, YouTube. This is um, episode seven. No, episode six. Installment six of the Banshee uh, rebuild. And here is the new case. This is the new case. This is the old case here. These are the gears. So here's the old, I have to take all this stuff, cannibalize this, cannibalize everything off of this and put it into here. So the process is starting. The uh, suspension, the, um, the frame, the electric, the wiring harness, and the um, handle, the handlebars, and the ha and the controls, all the controls. That's all finished. We've got the wiring all done. We've got the suspension is all done. We've got the brakes are all done too. The brake lines are in. The harness is in. We have the uh, sus um, rather the the levers and controls. We've got the rear brakes done and it's bled and it's working good and no leaks um just a word to the wise i had this um what was the name of the company javik i think javik so i bought the um three-piece caliper set from javik and it's made with chinesium from china of course and the rear uh let me see where it is here it is this is the rear that came. It leaked like a sieve. I don't know if uh, the tolerances on the metal were wrong or the gaskets were blown out, but I had to buy a new, uh, this is a uh, niche um, rear brake caliper. And this one works fine, doesn't leak. Um, it's, it's an exact duplicate of the original. This one had a parking brake um, lever on it. Uh, and it just it just leaked like crazy. So, um, but I I use the uh, the front Javik. These are the front Javics right here, on both sides. The front Javics, and they work great. I mean, they work great. They don't. I'll just roll it. And you can see, and they work great. Uh, no leaks. Uh, really, really good pressure. Um, so, I mean, it's hit and miss with Chinesium. You can get good stuff and you can get garbage. I mean, but eventually it's going to break no matter what because it's, it's made in Chinesium, made with Chinesium in China. So, just wanted to give you guys, I'm starting on this. And uh, then we're going to do the carburetors. And then we'll do final assembly, put the motor in, put the carburetors on, put the... Uh, the pistons and the cylinders and the heads and then the the um, radiator and the radiator hose and all the other stuff and then we're gonna test her out all right so we're getting close to the end so I'll come back with some more updates good evening YouTube I wanted to uh, break this video up a little bit uh, make it a little bit longer and put some more details um, into the assembly process. So I've transferred all of the the uh, transmission gears and the outside the outside parts that uh, that would hold everything together in the lower part of the case. Okay, this is the lower part of the case, the old one. All right, here we are with the new one. And I just want to go over a few things. If you're doing this, if you're building one, um, there's a few things to prepare yourself for uh, ahead of time. I didn't. I didn't realize this. Uh, I should have known better. But um, Yamaha uses uh, uses Phillip head screws for a lot of its uh, internals. And um, here's here's an example. Let me. Let me see if I can get this on screen here. Here's an example, okay? These strip out when you're trying to take them, especially when they've been in there for, 
especially when they've been in there for 20, 25, 27 years, they're gonna strip out, okay? Uh, let me turn this on its side. Let me lift it up, rather. Okay, so down here, there's a clip that holds the, um, let, me take the let me take the gears out. Let me put you down a second. Okay, I've got the gears out. That way we can see everything better. Okay, this is your, this is your uh, block here that manipulates the arms back and forth. These are the arms that move your gears in and out. Basically, they, they go in here, they go in here, and this one is gonna go right in here. And it moves, moves your gears back and forth so it can shift gears. You see this? These go in and out. It's hard to see with my hand in the way. These go in and out. These go in and out. These go in and out. Okay? That's what these three, that's what these three things operate. And then they slide. This drum goes around and these go back and forth in that groove. You can see there, these grooves. All right? So, um, on the side here, that drum is held in by a plate here. And as you can see on this screw, uh, let me get focused, that's stripped out, trying to put it in, trying to get it out rather. I put it in temporarily just to hold everything together while I waited for them to come in the mail. Okay, the other thing is, Okay, there's a, um, a 17 millimeter bolt down here. And then there's a, um, this needs to be, I haven't done it yet, but this needs to be um, hammered up on this so it doesn't move. Okay, this is like a retaining retaining flange that you hammer up. Okay, this, this can come in and out. This is your, basically, Basically, your shifter goes on out here, your gear shifter, okay, is on here, it's facing this way, you're going to go up and up and down with your shifter, that's going to, that's going to move your drum, and that's going to change your gears, all right, so, let me put it back on its side again. Word to the wise. So buy these screws because you're going to need them. They're going to strip out. This thing, it's, it's easy. You just, you just hammer this back up. This is a 17 millimeter. This is a 10 millimeter. This is holding. There's a spring that goes down in here. And basically, this, this, um, this lever... As you shift, this is, you see this actuates back and forth, okay? And that, and that slides in between these star points, and that's your different gears. That's your different uh, up and down gears, all right? One, neutral, uh, two, four, five, all right? This you don't have to take apart. Just take the whole drum out. Slide it in here. The, oh, the other thing is, make sure you put some machine oil, all-purpose machine oil, on your parts, on, on the, um, the, uh, the, the uh, bearing surfaces. Let me put this back down. Like in here, the bearing surfaces, the bearing surfaces, bearing surfaces here. And when you get your, uh, your crank in, but um, I put it on, I clean these, these um, rods up, put oil on it so that these slide back and forth nicely. You can see they're very, they're very nice and limber. Um, you're gonna put it in here, inside the casing ports that these slide into. These are, um, these are C-clips. There's a groove inside these so that they don't slide back and forth. Uh, make sure you use a uh, needle nose, needle nose plier to put them on. They're very hard to put back on. They're hard to get off, but they're very hard to put them back on. You're going to use a pick, uh, an angle pick to pull them off. 
but you're going to need to use a needle nose plier to put them back on. You can't do them by hand. Okay, so this one is in, and this bolt and this flange holds it in place. This one is in over here, as you can see. This, this retaining clip that holds the drum in also holds this in. Now, what I didn't know when I started doing this is that on this side, there's holes here, okay? Well, you need something. These were, these were in the old case, and I just popped them out just to see. These were down, down here and over here. So these get, these get hammered in there. Piece of wood and, and a mallet. I would put them in with a piece of wood and a mallet. Oops. Right down here. Anyhow, there's two of them. Here's the other one. So you're going to need replacements. You're not going to use these old ones because I had to hit them. I had to use a, um, a punch to get them out. They were in there really good. I had to use a punch to knock them out. And as you can see, I put divots in them. So you're going to need, you're going to need two screws. I got a new drain plug. Here's, here's one of the new um, plugs. Here's the other one. And then you're going to need a copper washer for your, for your drain plug. So I would order those six things before you even begin. Because I had to wait. I started and I had to wait. Uh, this is a plastic clip that goes in. These, these didn't strip because this is just in plastic and um it well it goes into the casing into aluminum but but they're they're um the heads the flange heads are in plastic so they were easy to get back out there is a rubber gasket on the inside of this i would clean it and then i would put some again put some machine oil on it and put this back in on the new case all right uh, oh, last thing, you're going to need um, a kit like this with all these new uh, gaskets and, uh, and bushings, rubber bushings. So this is the old one. It was all chewed up. It's hard as a rock. So you're going to put this in again, put a little machine oil to make its uh, seat right. And then you're going to clean, clean your uh, shift rod up and slide it in. Uh, you're going to have to buy, if you're doing a complete rebuild, I recommend buying Wrench Rabbit. This is a complete engine rebuild kit, okay? It's got everything in it. It's got, it's got a full gasket kit. It's got your pistons. It comes with this. It comes with, with all of these bushings and, and, uh, and seals. It comes with this, okay? Transmission bearing kit. I haven't done that yet on here. I have to take off all these old bearings and put new ones on, all right? This is, this is all of them in here. That has to be done. I will do that next. Um, what else? Okay, here. Water pump kit. This has got your bearings and your seals for your water pump. And then I would recommend buying a new plastic gear. This is the water pump gear. This is all plastic. This is this is your water pump propeller. And this is this is the drop the gear drive that drives it all. I would just buy all new. Okay, I just have that sitting here ready to go when I'm ready to do the water pump part. Um, so I just wanted to do that before I get any deeper into it. I wanted to do this quick video. Um, so the bottom is done. I just have to do the, the uh, bearings on here and then put them in. Put them in on the new case. Replace, replace the old screws with these new screws. I have to drive those um, these 
caps, whatever you want to call them, plugs in in here so that we don't have oil leaking out here. The oil is going to sit in here. All this has is uh, it's a two-stroke, so it just has oil in the transmission. It doesn't have oil circulating through the entire motor. So there's no oil out here. There's going to be no oil out here. As far as I know, I don't think so. I don't think the oil passes through. It might pass through a little bit. Actually, I think it does pass through. So, anyhow, just wanted to do that. Um, this is going to be the end of this installment. And in the next installment, I'll have all the transmission done. Uh, I'll film it when it's all in. And we'll do the crank. We'll do the pistons. We'll do the top case. We'll do the uh, the engine bolts holding everything together, the the um, the cylinder bolts, the um, the case bolts, and uh, we'll we'll I'll see how much how deep I need to get into something like this. I thought this was important to let you guys know about these things ahead of time. All right, Mike Machines out. Please subscribe and like. Thank you.